Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV, stage number six, Muir de Batania, in the books. For my money, a little bit disappointing. The story read by candlelight was not worth the wax. Not the big GC shakeout that we expected. Uh, and if you take out Misfortune to Bardet and Dumoulin because of flat tires in the finale, uh, absolutely nothing happened in the GC. Hats off to Dan Martin. Perfect terrain, steep, short climb to the finish, and he decimated all of his rivals. But be aware of Pierre Latour chasing Dan to the line. Powerful ride by the Frenchman on the AG2R squad. Watch for Latour to be a factor in the mountains. Um, status quo, like I said, for all the GC riders. BMC almost a day off <laughs> because Quickstep was so aggressive in the crosswinds, about 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers to the finish line. And uh, so at that point, uh, after splitting the field into three distinct groups, Quickstep was obliged to go to the front for the rest of the race. So BMC had a bit of an uh, armchair ride at the finish and delivered Greg Van Avermaet to another day in the yellow jersey. Caught sleeping at the back. Primoz Roglic and the Lotto Yumbo team. Not the way to win the Tour de France or get on the podium. If the crosswinds had been a little bit stronger, they would have never come back to the front of the race, and Roglic would have lost his chance to win the Tour. Um, Roglic still riding good, um, but GC, like I said, pretty reasonable day on the roads. This is the digs for the overnight. <laughs> nice garden. Got a little bit of a, a shining vibe to it. One of the vagaries of the Tour de France. But it marches on. Stage 7 sprinters. Going to go out on a limb and say uh, Fernando Gaviria wins his third. <laughs> Thanks a lot.